Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. It's story time with Mr. Griffith. Come on, stick around. You ain't got nothing to do. You scroll in Instagram anyway. Just sit your happy down and listen to me read. Now, this is cute. In Willow's class, Christabel was the boss. Willow wished for words that would say no when Christabel told her where to sit and what to play and who to play with. But when Christabel spoke, everyone did as they were told, even Willow. Not me, I ain't listening to Christabel. I don't know who she thinks she is. Girl. One morning, Christabel skipped into the classroom with her happy behind, hiding a pink sparkly paper. I'm having a fantastic birthday party. Good for you. She announced, you can come, she said, holding her paper high. If you are on my birthday list, Willow joined the crowd around Christabel. She saw Jane, Tiana, Julian. Her heart thumped so loudly, Willow was sure the whole class would hear it beating. Please let my name be there, she thought. Mateo, Liana, Olivia, Juan. When her eyes reached the bottom of the list, she was almost too scared to look. But then she read the last name on the pink sparkly paper and she beamed. Willow. Everyone was invited. Ah, oh, Christabel is so cute. Mm. At snack time, Christabel waved the birthday list, <clears throat> excuse me, in the air and said, if you want to stay on my birthday list, come sit at my table. Oh, here she go. Willow was comfortable where she was, but then Julian moved, and so did Jane. Willow worried she wouldn't be part of the fantastic birthday party, so she squished in as well. Oh, poor Willow. At playtime, Willow and Jane were busy in the sandbox when Christabel waved a birthday list again. Here she go with her birthday list. Everyone on the birthday list came can come play with me on the climber. Willow was happy playing in the sand, but then Jane rushed right over, and so did everyone else. Let's go, Willow. Willow worried that she wouldn't be a part of the fantastic birthday party, so she stood at the climber with everyone else and clapped with Christabel. See what happens when you be following the crowd and you don't have a of your own. Poor Willow. At the end of the day, Christabel walked straight to the front of the line, holding tight to her birthday list. Mateo took a brave step ahead of her and smiled. Remember, Christabel, Mrs. Post said, it's my turn to be line leader. But Mateo, Christabel said, Christabel said in her angry whisper, that was just loud enough for Mrs. Post wouldn't hear her. See, she's smart. She know not to say that out loud. I should be line leader. Mateo stood firmly. That's right, Mateo. Stand up for yourself. He stood firmly. He was like, this is my spot. Yup. Sorry, Christabel. I really want my turn. Fine, said Christabel, stomping her foot. She is she stubborn. You are not my friend anymore. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> okay, bye. You can't come to my birthday party. Everyone watched as Christabel held up the birthday list. Ooh, what's she about to do? List and drew a line straight through Mateo's name. Mateo's lip trembled. Willow took a deep breath to say, that's not nice, Christabel, but nothing came out. See, Willow's like me. She want to speak up. Wear pink tomorrow, Christabel called as everyone went to the door. Pink is my favorite color. Good for you. So wear pink if you want to come to my fantastic birthday party. Here she go. The next morning, as she got ready for school, Willow searched for words to say to Christabel. That's right, Willow about to let her have it. But her head swirled with visions of parties and pink sparkly lists. Yeah, I know. And a line drawn straight through her name. So instead, Willow searched her drawers, tossing everything around to find something pink to wear to school. At snack time, Willow thrailed behind the crowd at Christabel's table. 
Oh, Willow, I love your dress, Christabel said sweetly. She's so shady. Willow was relieved. Then Christabel turned to Julian. Where is your pink, she asked. I don't like pink, said Julian. Christabel got out her mark. Ooh, she got out that mark again and drew a line through Julian's name. You can't come to my birthday party, she said. Julian grabbed his snack and stomped over to the table where Mateo was sitting alone. That's right. So what? Jane looked down at the floor. Tiana fidgeted in her seat. Nobody trying to speak up. Willow struggled to say, Christabel, that's mean. But the words just wouldn't come out. I know. Again, Willow's head swirled with visions of parties, pink sparkly lists, and a line drawn straight through her name. Then Willow knew just what to do. Without saying a word, she picked up Christabel's birthday list and a marker. She drew a line straight through her own name. That's right, Willow. Yup. The whole class gasped. And at first, no one moved. But then Jane walked over and slowly took the birthday list out of Willow's hand. And one by one, Everyone crossed their names off of Christabel's birthday list. Just like that, Christabel wasn't the boss of anyone. See, it takes one person to stand up. Willow's my girl. So Christabel sat all by herself at snack time. Good for you, girl. Go on with your happy, sparkly birthday list. Willow was happy to be in her regular spot, but she noticed that Christabel didn't eat a thing. Yeah, because she feeling bad now because she done bullied everybody. At playtime, Willow tried to concentrate on her sandcastle, but she could see Christabel all alone. See, Willow got a good heart. Christabel did some pretty impressive tricks, but no one clapped. Anybody care? Because you shady. At the end of the day, everyone rushed into line, so Christabel had to go to the very end. Just save the spot for Willow right in the middle, but Willow went to the back of the line instead, to stand with Christabel. Oh, Willow. At first, Christabel was surprised, but then she looked down to the floor. I'm sorry. Apologize, she said in a voice that was just loud enough for Willow to hear. Nope, say that out loud so everybody can hear your apology. Before Willow could say a word, Christabel marched straight over to Mrs. Post. Everyone watched uneasily as Christabel whispered in her ear. Oh my, Mrs. Post said as Christabel pointed at the line of children. Hmm, said Mrs. Post. Christabel was finished. Mrs. Post addressed the class with her hands on her hips. Boys and girls, everyone held their breath. Christabel would like to make an announcement. Yup, she better apologize. My birthday party will be fantastic, Christabel said, holding the birthday list up high. And then to everyone's surprise, she ripped it into pink, sparkly, pieces. If all my friends would come, please. And they did, and everyone had a wonderful time. See, stand up for yourself, stand up for others. Of course, you have to make sure that it's a safe environment, and stand up to bullies, internet bullies, in-person bullies, and it's okay if you're not invited to all the parties. Sometimes it's better that way, right? <laughs> All right, everyone, later.